Hey everyone, so um, each week I'm going to try to record a little intro video to the week's lesson and some of the materials that you'll be taking a look at. Um, so this week, having taken a look at, you know, why evaluate and then some big barriers to evaluation, keeping all of that in mind, now we want to kind of dive in and start saying like, okay, well, how do we do this? Um, you've told me a little bit about the projects that you might be interested in evaluating and each week we're going to go through a little bit of how we start to chip away at actually how to do that. Um, so this week we start with an overview, kind of a where are we headed. Um, over the course of the course, <laughs> we will be using several different tools of evaluation, different frameworks to be able to evaluate your program. So uh, we've taken a look at some CDC stuff. We've looked at some EPA stuff already. Um, my background is primarily, like I said, in environmental education. So those are the tools I'm most familiar with, but they are fairly broad. So even if what you're evaluating is the impact of a policy or something like that, um, they can be applied that way too. Um, and I will try to mix and match with some tools from other disciplines as well. So this week, as we kind of get started with this overview, um, we're gonna look at some tools specifically specifically from University of Michigan. Um, they have a tool, an online sort of suite of tools called Mira, which I found really useful. And they really take you through program evaluation step by step. So we're gonna take a look at that framework and some of the introductory stuff uh, just for this week. And we're also gonna take a look at NAAEE, which is the North American Association for Environmental Education. Uh, take a look at some of their program evaluation literature. And then uh, finally, we are going to look at um, some of the Kellogg Institute sort of situating chapters in their really robust guide to evaluation. Um, once we do all of that, you're kind of gathering your, your exploratory materials, um, you're gonna take what you learn and apply it to looking at a case study um, and really kind of thinking through like what the overarching program evaluation for that case study might be, so what that program might be. And finally, you are going to get started really thinking, and this doesn't have to be the project that you end up with at the end of the semester, but if you're thinking about a program right now that you might want to evaluate, you're going to get started this week on just kind of thinking about what the goals of that program might be, because that's step one in really thinking about what we want to evaluate. So that's how you'll move through the materials. We'll submit things as we have in weeks previous, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thanks.